Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine programme. You hear the buzzer going downstairs. It's going to be a bit, bit off-putting. Um, three in three days, not too bad. Um, the first one that we're going to do is the Hawks Ridge Estate Hand-Picked, Hand-Crafted Viognier. Um, Hawks Bay, off the River Terrace. Um, Viognier, I've got to say, is one of my favourite wines when made well. Um, now what's the alcohol percentage of this? 14% alcohol. Now one of the problems I've discovered with uh, certain kind of like new world alcohol, uh, new world Viognier is that it tends to be a bit too bloody hot. The alcohol is kind of way up there, it's way out of whack with the quality of the fruit and the balance of the wine and so yeah. You do get a kind of certain almond character on the top of this wine. It's a bit funky, a bit dirty. Almost a bit kind of gamey. You get this good citrus kind of character on the on the on the palate. Very sweet. Then just disappears. It's like um, for those of you who grew up in the UK, it's like rent a goes to it. It's kind of like all of a sudden it just appears there in full, and then just kind of just goes. And that's what this wine has done to me. It's just kind of like it's just gone. Um, there's no alcohol that shows through that uh, like in a lot of New World Viognos, but not a lot of showing up full stop. The next one we've got is the Syrah Cabernet Franc Coxhead Creek Inlet Red 2006 at 12.8% alcohol. Up in Matacana. Now that is, um, this wine really is kind of, um, schizophrenic almost in the glass. It really doesn't know what it wants to be. There's so much of a contest between the, the Cabernet Franc and the Syrah on the nose to, to gain any level of dominance that it, it kind of comes across quite disjointed. You've got the green cabbage Cabernet Franc kind of funk there going on and then you've got the Syrah, white pepper cracked, bit of red fruit. Um, and, it, and it's just a bit schizophrenic in the glass on the nose. It's well balanced. There's nothing it's still slightly disjointed in in the palate. It's it's well balanced. Just kind of ordinary. Ordinary, well balanced, red, kind of medium bodied wine, really. Um, it's not doing a lot for me. Despite the, 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 the tension and the confrontation on the nose, it's actually just quite plain, dull, medium bodied red wine on the palate, which is a bit disappointing. I, th I thought there'd be a lot more excitement, um, a bit more of a contest on the palate, but uh, she's alright. I'd like to think that she sits below kind of like 20 bucks. If she doesn't, then I'm not sure that there's great value for money. If she does, then interest sake, then probably buy it 15 to 18 bucks. Oh, geez, as it points, kind of fit, seems a bit of a fizzle, kind of like we had this one that disappeared. We've got this one that I thought there was so much promise on the nose and the, and contest on the palette that didn't exist, a bit like the kind of All Blacks on Saturday. Oh, 83 points. Can't say further than that. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, hope to catch up with some of you during the week and um, pop in, say hello, and we'll catch you on Twitter or on Facebook and uh, see you um, the rest of the show. Cheers.